there is a baptism that is known as baptism of fire. It was that baptism that brother who, who, who is a member of our church received that caused what happened that day. It was many years back. 1995 precisely. Lord, 1995. Three men came here. I And they were shouting. We must see your general vessel. We have to. And so my staff was saying, but you don't have any appointment. You can't see him. Say appointment or no appointment, my foot. We must see him. I was listening. Then one of them now shouted. If you don't allow us to see this man, we shall burn down this place. Ah. When I heard we shall burn down this place. And I knew how we struggle to raise money. So I correct something here. Let them come and it. Let them come. So the three men got to sir. So are you the general of sir? I say yes by the grace of God. So we have come here to report that if you one of your members. Who is a tenant in our house? He got him six months ago. But since this man got him, there has been no peace. I said, does he insult you? Is he quarrelsome? He said, no, sir. He's very nice. Very gentle. Very friendly. But immediately it is 12 midnight. He begins to say some words that we don't understand. And then the whole place will be engulfed with fire. In our bow. And that since he got to this house, none of us have been able to attend witchcraft meeting. Uh, so I pinched myself to convince myself that I was wide awake. And I was not seeing the vision. Say, uh, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. Are you saying you are witches? One of them said yes. That his wife was on the sick bed now. Because of what this man is doing, the woman failed to attend an important meeting and they have disciplined her. So your wife are witches too. Ah, that's not why we're here. This is the money he has paid for three years. Just give him back the money and ask him to pack out. Say, is that why you are here? Say, yes. I say, but if the man is praying at night, because, because that language you are hearing is the language of the Holy Ghost. And there is fire all over the place. You know why you go go back? One of them even said that there is some giant men stand around. Yeah. And you see that kind of thing. Why don't you go and serve his God? And drop what you are doing. They looked at me and said, Money. God forbid. Here was a brother who embarrassed the enemy to fear and put them to flight. I'm praying for somebody here. Receive the baptism of fire in the name of Jesus. Receive it. 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 Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. In the name of Jesus, a sound will find a man.
dog marriage. D O G dog marriage. Dog marriage is marriage is based on sexual hunger. You marry just for sex, just for sexual attraction. Panic marriage. What is a panic marriage? All your friends or sisters or brothers are married. You are afraid that no one else will want to marry you. So you are in a hurry. You want to marry on time. Say, ah, uh, yeah, my sister will marry next week. My junior sister already married. Oh, am I going to remain like this? Ah, I must marry. I must marry. So you are panicking. You are panicking. You are panicking. And so you run to a man. Say, look, 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 look. Look, sleep with me very well so I get pregnant. So that uh, I can, I too can marry. Panic marriage. It never works out. Medicinal marriage. That is, you are using marriage as a medication just to cure loneliness. Unfortunately, you went and married a loner. <laughs> you want to cure loneliness, then you married a, a loner, a man who does not talk to anybody. He just faces his computer or television and is not talking to anybody. Say, darling, how are you? Fine. When do you want to eat? Later. What food? Anyone? Did you like the one I cooked yesterday? Yes. When are you going to bed? Now. All your questions are answered in monosyllables. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. So you have married a loner who does not talk. And you don't want to be lonely. That's why you married. A lot of people are married but still single. Because the man does not talk to them. Uh, so a couple came to see me from America they started fighting for America they fought when they got to the airport in Nigeria they fought at the front of my counseling room <laughs> and I said ah, why you, you fight it all the way you, fight it, you came here for deliverance you are still fighting he said Joe the only time this man is ever nice to me is when he's sleeping with me any other time he's very nasty married the Luna say Dry up my oil of favor. In the name of Jesus. Baby factory marriage. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> Many of our mommies are baby factory marriage. <laughs> That is, marriage mainly for the sake of having children. And all the love that the woman has is diverted to the children, not themselves. Just baby factory. And once the baby is not coming on time, there will be a problem. Because the basis of the marriage is to have babies. Escape root marriage. Escape root that is marriage that is based on you escaping from all the trouble in your family. All the very, very harsh parents. You just want something to get you away from the house where your father is a very harsh sergeant major. You just want to get out of the place. Get out. You don't want to, you don't want to stay there again. Ah, they woke up at 5 p.m. They say begin to sweep. You finish sweeping. They woke up again. They say go and cook. You cook. After cooking, they say go and Fetch water, you fetch water. Ah, I'm tired of this kind of life at 20. What? No, I must go. And anybody that comes, say, please just marry me out of here quick. I don't want to stay. So it's an escape route marriage. Plaster, plaster marriage. The plaster you used to treat wound. This is marriage for visa, marriage for citizenship. You know? <laughs> Uh, it's something that is very interesting that happens at the prayer city. You know, a lot of people come from all over the world to prayer city for deliverance. Those foreign ladies who come, immediately some brothers notice that uh, somebody is carrying about a British passport at prayer city. Or she has American passport at prayer city. Or it's European passport at prayer city. They become interested. Say, hello. <laughs> you change, change, change your tonation. From the Ekiti English to around uh, to. <laughs> Hello, how are you? God bless you. 
You want to marry because she has a passport, because you know if she's a citizen, you become a citizen. It's a plaster marriage. You may be surprised. And when you get there, they will deal with you terribly. <laughs> I've seen it happen. Somebody from Mountain of Fire for, got a lady from that year, followed the lady. And when he got that lady said, well, I brought you here not to walk. I brought you here not to do anything. The reason I brought you here is to serve me. So you must serve. Wake up in the morning, wash clothes, do this, do that, sleep with me, finish. I won't walk. So you can't walk. May you not do plaster marriage. Yeah. And if you're already a plaster marriage, may the Lord deliver you. Yeah. Say, power! <laughs> Dry up my oil of favor! Marriage between Mrs. Husband and Mr. Wife. Mrs. Husband and what? Mr. Wife. This the woman is in charge. The man cannot talk. There is the fixed marriage. Fixed. Say our family must marry so so family. You cannot marry outside that family. You have to marry the person from our town, from our clan, from our street. No other one. It's fixed. If you don't do it, we, we usually curse on you. There used to be a lady in Mountain of Fire that came from a fixed family like this. Everything fixed. The person she stood by is fixed. The house she married is fixed. The village is fixed. Everywhere is fixed. And she went and married one pastor in Mountain of Fire. If you see the curses the father sent to her, I was afraid. <laughs> I myself as a minister, when I see the curses, the man started his letter by saying, I am a knight of so 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 church. Because you have disobeyed me, may your womb become rotten. May your this and that and that and that and that and that. May your husband, uh, whatever, become like a pillow. May your... <laughs> Second-hand marriage. Second-hand marriage. Somebody is already married. He didn't tell you that he was married. And you got into it for you to know that he's already married. And you say, well, I've already, I'm already inside. Let me stay. No. Those are marriages that should never hold. CIA or KGB marriage. What does that mean? CIA, KGB marriage. It means marriage that you say, okay, go and know my parents. Say, ah, no, 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 no. I don't want to go. Let's go to the pastor. Ah, pastor. Ah, no, no. Okay, at least know my mother. Ah, no, no, don't let tell your mommy. Okay, let me know your parents. Ah, no, 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 no. Ah, if, I, if we go to them, there will be trouble. Let me know your father. Ah, my father is terrible. Okay, take me to your family house. Ah, we don't have none. It sank in the village. <laughs> so what do we do? I say, let's do it secretly. Let's do secret wedding. Let nobody know. So you quietly, without the knowledge of your parents, without the knowledge of your pastor, without the knowledge of anybody, you went to court and secretly got married to somebody. And then it backfires. These are the marriages that must not hold. Anointing of favor! Many years ago, Look, what do you say? a friend of mine got married. Oh, me go ya As a pastor. Oh, you to but when he went to pick up his wife, she to my love, ya 
they said the tradition here is that if you are taking a daughter from here we must give you an extra small daughter to take away so he accepted so they gave him this 10 year old girl who went home with them and, and that was it I didn't see them for months I didn't see them for months but the day I will see them my friend was so lean the wife too was so lean I said ah, you just got married what's the problem they say it's the extra luggage girl they gave to us and every night the girl will place it two legs on the wall she has gone to witchcraft meeting. harassing the whole house turning the place upside down yeah. Yeah. return the girl to the village they said no it's abomination you can't return the girl I said so what do you do I said, look, 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 look. every day we don't sleep again because if you sleep the leg is on the wall so to keep the leg from being put on the wall we hold the VG every day so they were holding the VG the girl was busy sleeping and getting fat I started laughing I said, but you can block her from going to that meeting. Said how? Drag her to court. Drag her to court. Which court? The court of the Almighty. I don't understand. Yes. Drag her to court. Said, Father. I drag this witchcraft girl to your court. As from today, put a mark on her head. So that when she appears in the witchcraft, meeting, let them chase her out of the place. And say they don't want her again. Put a mark on her head. Say, so, ah. Uh, so can you come and do the prayer for us? I said, no problem. So I went. We waited for her to sleep. I drew Instead of the long vigil. Father, Baba, we drag this girl to your court. We didn't say they should kill her. Just put a mark on her head. So in that meeting where she is, let them chase her out. One minute after the prayer, the girl woke up. I said, who is this man? What is he doing here? She asked me, she was reporting to so why did you bring this man here? Do you know that as from that day my friends could sleep they took her to court and judgment was issued. Are they harassing you in the place of work? Drag them to court. Are they stealing from you? Drag them to court. Are they cheating you here and there? Drag them to this court. Are they pursuing your children? Drag them to court. How many of you are ready to do that tonight? Powers! Assigned to disgrace me. I drag you to the court of the Almighty. In the name of Jesus. Who is the Lord of the Universes? Jesus, name we pray.